Hello and welcome to Frogty Frog Crochet and this stitch guide on how to make the forked cluster stitch. So this is a beautiful looking stitch that is really thick and there's no holes in it at all. So to make this stitch you're going to need a foundation chain in any multiple of stitches that you like plus three for your turning chain. So to start this stitch we're going to make straight away the forked cluster stitch. So you're going to yarn over and in the fourth chain from your hook we're going to start the stitch. Now unlike most other stitches I make the turning chain is not going to count as our first stitch. Okay so we've yarned over and inserted our hook into the fourth chain from our hook and we're going to pull up a loop. Now we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the next stitch yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got five loops on your hook. Now we're going to yarn over, pull through three loops, yarn over, pull through three loops. And that is your forked cluster. So that first forked cluster counts as the first stitch of the row. So I'm just going to put a stitch marker into the top. Yarn over. We're going to start the next fork cluster in the same stitch that we finished the last one. Okay, so back into that stitch we just finished with, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first three loops. This will leave three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the last three loops and you start to create these little clusters and they just look like upside down V's and that's the fork and repeat this across your row yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch that you just finished the last cluster yarn over pull up a loop Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first three loops only, leaving three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the last three loops. And we're going to repeat that across the row. So always start your next cluster in the same stitch that you finished the last one. So this is a very very thick stitch because you overlap so much. And we're just going to keep on going. So in this row there is no other stitch apart from forked clusters. Pull through three, pull through three. And you just keep going with this until the end of the row. Oops, my yarn is unknotted it. Get rid of that. There we go. So we've got two stitches left. And we're going to do another forked cluster. No, we don't have two stitches. We've got one stitch left. We've got the stitch we just finished in and one stitch left. And we're going to do a forked cluster again. And to finish the row in the same stitch that we just finished in, so the very last stitch of the row, we're going to make a double crochet. And we have to do that to make sure our stitch count stays even. Okay, so that's row one. 
So once you've completed your double crochet, you're going to turn and chain one. Make a single crochet in the first stitch and I'm just going to pop a stitch marker in there. So that's your first stitch of the row and you're going to single crochet in every stitch across. Now the false cluster is a two stitch repeat, two row repeat stitch but row two is slightly different in that we need to forget about the turning chain in row one. So that's the turning chain we started with before we start our fork cluster. That did not count as a stitch so that's here. So the top of that chain, that turning chain, is right there. We're going to forget that. So we're just going to work into the top of each fork cluster, ignoring that turning chain and turn. And that's row two, all single crochet. In row three, we're going to do another set of false clusters. So to start, we've turned and we're going to chain one. And we're going to go straight away into a false cluster. So into the first stitch, you yarn over, into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and finish the false cluster exactly the same way as in row one. We're going to repeat that all the way across. Remember to always start in the same stitch that you finished the last cluster in. So I've done four clusters right to the end of the row, including finishing one in that final stitch. And then to make sure we keep our stitch count even, you're going to make a double crochet in that last stitch. And then we turn, chain one. So this is row four. Make a single crochet in the first stitch. And then a single crochet in every stitch across. But in row four, we don't have the problem of the turning chain that we started with. So we single crochet in every stitch across. I forgot to mark my stitch, never mind. And there we go. That is the fourth cluster stitch. So you repeat rows three and four until you have the rows you need. And there is your stitch guide on how to make the fourth cluster stitch. I hope you enjoy the stitch and I would love to see what you make with it. Come over and show us in our Facebook group, Frogty Frogs Ribbon and Stitch. The link is beneath the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well for more videos on stitch guides, crochet tips and tricks and free crochet patterns as well. So thank you for joining us and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.